Oslo is usually a bustling city of almost 700,000 people. But like other places around the world, lockdown is now in force to slow infection rates. However, outside the capital, it's vital to understand how the epidemic is spreading throughout the rest of the country. Telenor is Norway's largest mobile operator, with 80% of all data traffic passing through its infrastructure. So it knows roughly where each phone is throughout the day as that phone hops between different base stations. Telenor then provides the user location data to the Norway Institute of Public Health to try and track the spread of COVID-19. In our systems, there is knowledge about where people are at uh, basically any time. So the trick here is to understand how uh, the population is moving on an aggregated level. So if you understand how people are moving around, then you're also able to understand how disease is potentially spreading uh, across a country or across uh, uh, continents. The NIPH takes this data, combines it with other information relating to COVID-19 infections, and then uses a mathematical model that simulates the spread of the virus to try and predict how many cases are expected in each region and when. We have data on hospitalizations in Norway since the start of the epidemic, and we have data on cases of imported registered cases to Norway since the start of the epidemic. We can lift, for instance, restrictions, we can open schools and close schools and things like this, and we can use a model to inform us about what is the effect of doing that. We're primarily forecasting for the next three weeks so that we can look at what need will there be for hospital beds and for intensive care. Uh, and that's very important for planning in the health services. The effects not only on the epidemic itself, but on public health overall and on the economy and society overall, uh, that we will be able through modeling to tackle, uh, manage this epidemic in a much better way than the world has been able to in pri during prior epidemics or pandemics. However, as always, anonymity is one of the major worries, even in times of international emergency. We're extremely cautious when it, when it comes to, to privacy. And uh, what we're very afraid of is that individuals can be re-identified from the data. We count only groups of people larger than 20, because we believe it's very, very hard to, uh, to re-identify all individuals in groups larger than 20. This isn't the first time that Telenor has used mobile phone data to track the spread of diseases. Previously, it's worked in Bangladesh to track malaria and Pakistan for dengue fever. The models have helped the governments there design more effective national response preparedness. Around the world, countries including the UK, Austria, Israel and the US are all seeking to work with mobile operators to adopt similar models to Norway to try and prepare and possibly even contain the virus.